With all due respect, if you have a missile in your goddamn kitchen and you want to shoot it at me, am I allowed to defend myself? Yes. No one That's is, the situation. No one is denying the These right missiles to are yourself. there. These missiles are launched. The button is pressed. Okay. The missile comes out from the kitchen onto my children. But, but the question is this. Ultimately, you can't remove the people of Gaza. They're going to be stuck in this neighborhood. So we like have to fight. What do you want us to do? Well, so we tell them, get what, out, and we fight against the launchers. Eventually? What happens eventually? Right? Once this war is over now, you're going to have to live with them side by side. Absolutely. What's the plan? Well, the plan is we have to make sure the Hamas will not be able to repeat this again. That is the plan. That's what we are trying to do. And if you with all the respect, I see nations fighting terror. Okay? Many decent nations, when they fight terror, they fight terror. We are fighting terror. Humanity has to decide. Are we accommodating terror or are we fighting terror? We are fighting terror. And we saw the worst atrocity possible. We see the worst atrocity possible by a whole campaign of a movement which has major support with our neighbors. Major. Major. They believe. Many people believe in it. I agree. There are many, many innocent Palestinians who don't agree to this. But unfortunately, in their homes, there are missiles sh shooting at us, at my children, at the entire nation of Israel. We have to defend ourselves. We have the full right to do so. And it's about time that the world understands it. This is the tragedy of using terror. And terror has no, there's no mercy to terror.